All right, so today we're going to try to recreate a painting that has been really popular on my channel called Oyster. Um, and I'm sort of recreating it for the purpose of uh, uh, control with a new substrate. I'm using some, some canvases that I got for a good price. So if they work, it might be a new, more affordable way to go with my paintings rather than the wooden panel. Um, I just don't know if it's going to sink and, and puddle in the center, so we're going to give it a try. Um, so we're going to go with a color scheme of titanium white and micaceous oxide. This is a metallic paint. These are all golden paint. This is micaceous oxide. I'm stirring this one thoroughly because the mica is super dense and um, it just wants to settle really quickly. This is iridescent silver. Get that ready to come out. And we have iridescent pearl. There we go. And I have carbon black over here somewhere which I did shape these other paints earlier. I think that they're still in good shape. We will give it a try. So I'm going to coat the canvas first with white and then we will do a flip cup with these metallic paints. So Now for the flip cup, and I might add some more depending on how much extra space I have in the cup. I am going to do a full cup, I believe. So that was black, caseous oxide, iridescent silver. Try not to just slosh it in there. I'm going to go down the side so it doesn't mix with all my paints. This is iridescent pearl. Ooh, and I just lost some of it. I forgot that another color that I'm using is a metallic gold that is not golden brand. Most all my paints are golden brand, but this one is not. Um, it is something else. Okay, um, should I use, maybe I'll put a little more white in there too, since I've got the space. I'm going to use a clean cup, because that cup is getting muddy. Mm. Maybe we'll use more black this time. Contrast. Just because I'm still trying to fill up the cup. This one is already different than the other one because I did not. The only thing I think on the other video that I used extra of to fill up the cup was iridescent pearl, which is the one thing I don't have a lot of today. You can see the cup here. It's ready to go. All right. Um, last time I believe I did a flip and drag. So I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I think I want to flip it and tip it. So this isn't much of a control since I'm doing so many things differently. Well, I'm digging it so far. I think I might want to leave that corner clean. It's always nice to have a little bit of negative space. Oh, 
looking at the development and I like it. I'm wondering, I lost a lot of the black. I am wondering if I should, well, what I'm doing right now is I'm covering up the edge because I see that it just needs to flow off a little better. So I'm using what's left in the cup here. it I think I'm gonna leave it alone there's some things that I want to play with but I'm afraid if I play with it too much that I will regret it I'm trying to learn to let it do its thing a little more I'm getting more and more white popping through the longer it sits here which is awesome which reminds me that I do have a heat gun sitting over here that I'm gonna go across there just to make sure all the air bubbles are popped because it did shake that paint a lot. And the use of the heat gun has nothing to do with me using silicone. A lot of people use it to try to make the silicone rise to the top. I do not use silicone. I'm simply trying to pop any air bubbles that were trapped in the paint because I don't want that texture. Also, I'm painting during my lunch hour. That was the school bell. So, because of the bell, I will come back and show you the results a little later. Bye. Great, so it's been a couple of hours and I just wanted to show you how it has developed. So you can see there's some pretty amazing cellular formations going on. Pretty happy with it. All right, so we'll let it dry for a couple of days. It has been overnight, and I'm coming back to check out how this thing has dried. And the center is still wet. Um, I can tell by the glossy sheen, and the rest is matte. If you see when I do that, you can sort of see that it is still wet just right in the center. I've got that little mirage mirror thing going on. Um, definitely drying a lot quicker on canvas than it has for me on wooden panel. Um, and no cracking or anything so far. Um, I'll just wait to see if it leaves the canvas texture, which I'm not a big fan of. But maybe if it does that, I can do a resin coating on it which that'll be an experiment as well because I don't know if the resin I feel like the resin would also pool in the center a little bit which is not good but maybe I could prop up the center some so this is cool and attractive and feels sort of like stone or um, maybe barnacles on whale skin is what I'm feeling a little bit. Definitely has some natural organic elements going on. I haven't quite decided on the the composition and which orientation I would go with. But yeah, it's pretty interesting combination. Got some real like three-dimensional stuff going on too. So this is also metallic, so um, these are all metallic paints. So I'm hoping there will be some real glitter and gloss when I get some decent lighting. This is just my UV school classroom lighting right now. So we'll give it a few more days and come back. 
All right, here is the finished, cured version of the painting. Um, I'm a little conflicted about this one. I really like a lot of the things that are going on. There's some really interesting areas. Um, certainly lots of cellular action happening. And it's got some beautiful shimmer in the light. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but this is all metallics, so it's pretty beautiful in the light. Um, it doesn't have as much contrast as I'd like. The black sunk to the bottom. Um, I wish there was more black. But otherwise... All right, so here's the end result of this painting. I didn't really like the the plain dried version. It just didn't have enough contrast between light and dark. It just seemed really gray to me, and there wasn't a really strong composition either. So I embellished it, as you saw in some of those photographs, with some just some black and white paint. I just uh, lightened some areas and darkened some areas. And now it is in this awesome float frame. I'm going to put it up on my website for sale on seaholsterart.com. Let's check out some of the details. I'm pretty happy with it now. I would love to know what you think. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.